you recognize that car? That's right. I am at my mom's house right now. I needed to do some laundry, so I'm over here visiting, and I decided to do some laundry. Her house is so stinking cute. It's got so many blues and other colors, and I'll have to show you a proper tour here in a second. But first, let me show you the video journal that I made on my way over here. And then, oh, there's my buzzer. My laundry's done. After you watch the video journal, I will fold the clothes and give you a tour of my mom's place. Let's go. Today is the 23rd of Septem September of January and just doing a quick video journal. Um, I was thinking out loud, or I was thinking in my head, so I'm gonna put it out loud, that I'm gonna go do some laundry at my mom's house right now. And instead of doing my laundry and bringing it all back to my apartment, I got to thinking how maybe I should just bring a couple of outfits back, but leave the rest in the empty drawer inside my mom's house, inside my mom's guest room. And that's gonna do two things for me. One, it'll obviously make it easier to have to haul clothes back and forth. And two, I can start easing into the idea that I'm going to be living there, which is really hard for me to wrap my head around still. But if I go there again this week sometime and do another load of laundry, I'll just add more clothes to the drawers and again, more clothes to the drawers. And again, I just keep going there and adding more clean clothes to the empty drawers. And it will also give me an opportunity to go through clothes that I don't want anymore without having to <clears throat> try to do it all at the apartment, lugging dirty laundry and clean laundry back and forth. I can just decide it all at my mom's after I'm done washing it. I'll put it away or I'll put it in a garbage bag to donate or something. I'm just kind of thinking out loud how this is going to help me ease into moving in with my mom because it's only the 23rd of January and I still have a month before I need to be out of that apartment. So yeah, just having some clothes over there and when I run out of clothes at my apartment, because I really don't have any clean clothes left at all, I'll just bring another round of clothes over to my mom's, grab a couple outfits. It's just going to be a process. Okay, I'm done over explaining it. I'm thanks, bye. Don't listen to the voice inside your head. You're doing just fine. You're trying your best. And no one ever told you it's all going to be okay. Just people never sleeping over stupid shit We won't remember in the morning, yeah, we're gonna forget And no one ever told you it's all gonna be okay You've been living off opinions for way too long Afraid to be right, ashamed to be wrong If no one ever told you it's all gonna be okay those people always keeping up to keep you down Stop looking for a reason just to keep them around I know they never told you it's all gonna be okay When you lose faith in everything you ever knew Don't give up on you When life gets overwhelming Relying on yourself is hard to do but don't give up on you, no If you've been lost and lonely Ashamed to be alone with only you No one left to lose If it's the last thing that you do Don't give up on you All right, so I've got my clothes folded and now I'm gonna put them in the empty drawers. My sister used to live in here and she emptied those drawers for me. 
going to put one outfit aside for tomorrow. I'm going to put the shirts right here. Here's a dress. I usually like to hang up my stuff. Well, that's enough shirts in there. If we're going by the containers concept, I won't be able to fit much more in there. Jeez. And here is, oh, a nice deep drawer. Okay, that's not too bad. There we go. So there's pants on the bottom drawer that's pretty deep. And I put my skirts down there too. Isn't that cute? My mom painted that. My mom is an artist. She does murals and painted furniture. She loves to decorate homes and She's also into fashion. So you guys saw my bedroom, right? I'll give you the tour now. This will be my bedroom when I move in here next month. And there's a full mirror closet doors. Hello. And then she loves peacocks, so. This is her living room. Brooklyn's over there. Hi, Brooklyn. And she's got her baby grand piano. She hasn't cleaned up, so there's a little bit of clutter a couple places, but she's nothing like I am. Beautiful art on her walls. What's that? Yeah, the art that she made. Just really, really 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 nice home compared to what I've lived in this is my mom's room she makes her bed every day cute bedding huh and she's got butterflies on the wall and she loves her jewelry so she's got her jewelry all throughout she likes to sew dolls and hair patterns and colors and everything. Hello! She's got all her belts and necklaces and scarves and all her fancy hats and she's not here right now but when she comes back oh here's the bathroom. Turn on the so it's a regular old bathroom but she's dolled it up. Butterflies! dolled it up with these beautiful colors and that's it it's just a two bedroom one bath little house not an apartment here's the kitchen see dolls I need to turn off that dryer cute art cute kitchen Pioneer Woman stuff. Those are all her, her kids and grandkids on her fridge. And she has these beautiful painted tables and chairs that she did herself. She left the back door open. This is her patio. So out here in Sun City, Arizona, you can see all your neighbors. You guys have a shared, they have a shared yard back here. I mean, nothing really dividing the yards. I think those were quails. Oh, this is cute. I haven't seen this before. I want to go on a hot air balloon someday. More peacocks. She's got a table in the making right here. She's going to paint this one a little bit more. Beanbag chair. Just a fun little comfort stuff. She has people come out here and she can put a curtain around for privacy. Just really cute stuff. And this is supposed to be my home in the next month. What do you think, Brooklyn? She's ignoring me. She's on her music. Well, I mean, I guess it's the alphabet, so... You're watching the alphabet? 
Okay, anyways, that's all. Thanks for watching, and um, stay tuned for the next chapter of my life if you are even interested. If not, I don't blame you, but I make these videos for me and my own growth, and it just helps me remember um, what I'm learning on my journey. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you later.